Hello, so today we're going to be reviewing the Wind Hard Tiny Quilt, which is a fairly small quilt. I'll just stand up and show you how big it is. It is this big. Now, a couple of things you've got to be aware of with this quilt. One, it's made in China. Um, so it's made of unethically sourced down. It's very inexpensive. We got it off Amazon. I think they're about 85 pounds each. Is that correct, Finn? Yep. Finn is behind the camera. At the moment, we're on the GR10. We're on day 22. Do you want to give it a look around? Like, we're outside a really nice bothy at the moment. Some nice mountains over there, Finn. Yeah. And we've been using this quilt, both of us, every night for the last 22 days. Is that correct? Yep. Yeah. And we've been camping everywhere between 600 and 2,000 meters. Um, and yeah, so unethically sourced down. Uh, and the actual baffle design is pretty much a rip off of the enlightened equipment um, quilts. I can't remember the exact model that they've basically copied, but all those things aside, how does the quilt do? Well, I would say it's really, really warm. I have been sleeping in it every night in exactly what I'm wearing now, which is no shirt and these sort of like five pound decathlon fleece bottoms. And I've been plenty warm enough. Uh, the lowest low we've had is probably only five degrees. A couple of people have said they've experienced frosting on their tent. We've not personally experienced that, so it could have been down to zero. Every single night I've been warm enough just like this. One night, however, I did have to put on my down jacket. It was a really windy night, about 1600 meters, and it was really foggy. And that night I woke up at about four o'clock in the morning, slipped on my down jacket and slept through. I feel I could confidently take this down to zero degrees and be absolutely fine. Um, I'm not a particularly tall person, I think I'm about five foot ten, so that does contribute definitely to me fitting in this quilt. So I will show you some of the features of how it does up and stuff. So if you want to bring the camera over here a bit, please. Uh, there's a main zip that does up the foot box. Now, personally I've never used the quilt unzipped, I just unzip it sometimes to shake the down around, which you do have to do because um, the down, particularly directly above your chest, does have a habit of shaking itself so that it's not um, directly above you. I think that's you know, a thing with all quilts. You have to redistribute the down, I'll show you what I mean. So that does up quite easily. Then there's a cinch cord for the bottom. It's absolutely, you can get a very, very small hole. Uh, I've not really experienced any grafts, but if I ever did, I would just shove a sock in there. I've normally got one next to me when I'm sleeping. So it's particularly this, these baffles here, um, they sometimes lose a bit of down and you have to shake it around a bit. I normally check just before I go to sleep. So I'll show you what it looks like to get into. I'll take off my shoes. So laid out. So, it uh, comfortably comes up around my neck. I don't normally cinch it up around me. I normally just like this. If it's a particularly cold night, I normally lie on my side. So I lie on my side like this. I get the quilt behind me, tuck it around me a bit, underneath me and tuck it around me a bit. Or I'll often sleep on my front straight on the ground. Oh, sleep, normally I sleep on a firm rest, like this. Um, I did, on the first few nights, try uh, using this collary bit here, which sort of cinches up, like so. I'm gonna back up a bit for me a bit closer there. And then you can um, put it around your neck like this. And that's to help um, keep it all round you. But I just don't really like it around my neck and I find that it stays around my neck quite easily anyway. So I never really use that feature. If I was going to make a quilt or buy another quilt for you know proper money instead of the cheapest one I could possibly find, I would definitely not go with one that opens itself up. You really don't need to be able to open the quilt up uh, at the bottom. It's not really a very useful feature. Um, so definitely go with a sew and closed foot box. So oh, uh, durability wise it's been fine. It leaks quite a lot of down as um, for the, in the beginning, but now it's not really leaking much down anymore. Other people have said it leaked a lot, but I didn't think so. Also, people said it smelt really bad. We didn't have any problems with the smell on ours, so 
I don't know whether our noses are just not very good or other people are exaggerating. Another feature which I've never used but potentially could see myself using if it got really cold one day and I had lost my down jacket is uh, the ability to sort of use as a throw. It's got these little buttons and clips around it. I've uh, never done this before and I never intend to do it again. So overall, really happy with the temperature of it. As much as I'm lusting over a cumulus or a catabatic palisade uh, quilt, I really can't see myself changing until I go somewhere it's seriously much colder that I need, need it, because I would happily take this to zero with a down jacket. And that's what it looks like all laid out. Another thing is that the quilt is sewn through, which was the major turnoff for me when I purchased it. Um, more my major worry, not so much as a turnoff because I still ended up purchasing it. But what I was really worried about is that draftiness would sort of, you know, it basically be cold if it didn't have proper baffling. But it actually handles um, breezes really well. We've had been fairly windy a lot, and you know, it just it's fine. So the sewing through isn't really an issue. Obviously I wouldn't make a sewing through quilt or buy another one just because it has got to make it colder but it's not like long cold spots on my body like I assumed it would be so overall really happy with it and we'll uh, give you a switch to Finn's opinion. A few stats I forgot to mention just then. Our quilts weigh about 450 grams each yeah. and the down is 800 fill power. Finn your mileage has varied a little differently with the quilt yeah. than mine. Give us your experience with it. So I'm a bit taller than Connor, I'm about 6 foot 6 foot 1. And I find that when I'm lying in it, I get a lot more drafts coming in the side. So on a cold night, I can't really lie on my side effectively. However, I found if you take care to distribute the down well and um, sleep mostly on your back, I've been pretty good over the last couple of days. I've had one or two nights where I've had to put my fleece top and down on, but they were only particularly cold nights. You've sent your fleece top home now, though, I did you? send my fleece top home as we're getting into the warmer country. Um, overall, I think I would probably replace it with a nicer one later on, but for where we are it's certainly warm enough. If I was going closer to zero, I might be tempted to go for a mummy bag and not necessarily a quilt, just to make sure that I keep the warmth in. Awesome, thanks for watching. Hello, so it's day 34 and we'll just film a quick update on, on the durability the, um, of the quilts. quilts. And this is really interesting. So Finley's feet, maybe show them your feet. Yeah, then. I don't have like the, the most beautiful feet. The heels of Finley's feet are, are like sandpaper. Like absolute rock solid sandpaper. They are all manky, hard, super hard, ultra hard skin. Yeah, don't go too far, just... Palaces this is what from the fabric of the quilt looks like in most places, but as you can see, as you go towards the foot box, I have a braided away that I need to start wearing. Socks I don't know whether this is clear on the camera, but this fabric is totally different here. It's like not hairy. like the super silky smooth. It's like paper thin, hairy, and a braid. I wonder if I can get them both in the same shot. Like, look at the difference in the fabric. This fabric here is super braided in his foot box where his heels are. And this is like smooth, shiny, water repellent, hairy, soft and worn. I reckon in a few more days, this would just disappear into nothing and down would start pouring out. We're going to turn it inside out and keep using it, but um, something to bear in mind. I'll, yeah, I'll, wear, I'll, wear some socks, get some like silk sock liners or something. So if, you... if you have feet like Finn's, mine's still yeah. absolutely fine, so just Finn. I feel like a machine.